Hey guys, what's going on? Baru here, and today I want to take um, another chance to sort of talk about the Borderlands prequel. Now, I've kind of been going over this footage more and more, and I wanted to talk about the loot system that may or may not be implemented, as well as the new elements and what I think of them. So, to start off, let's go ahead and talk about the elements. Now, as we know, in the new Borderlands Borderlands pre-sequel, that's going to get a little awkward to say, pre-sequel, there's a new element coming. It's going to be the freeze element. Now, you guys all know that this thing is coming, and what it allows you to do is basically it freezes your target, although when used on badasses, it seems to have a much tougher time freezing them, or maybe it can't freeze badasses in general. But anyway, it'll allow you to freeze your enemy, uh, slow them down, and with the new jetpacking ability you can do a ground stomp on them turning them into a bunch of little uh shards of ice which is pretty awesome i'm not gonna lie this new freeze element definitely looks like it's going to be the new sort of support element in this borderlands pre-sequel um but i'm curious if slag is still going to be an element um, you guys know that Hyperion was the one that weaponized Slag, and since this is going to be before Handsome Jack got to power, I don't think we'll be seeing Slag return as a element in Borderlands pre-sequel. Um, I'm not entirely sure whether this is a good or bad thing. I'm thinking this is more of a good thing if it does end up being true, because I feel like Borderlands 2 relied too much on Slag too much on it being sort of you have to debuff them with slag before you do anything and I'm hoping that freeze will now fill that role but it will do so, do it so in a way that it's no longer like well you need to hit them with this with this first and then you can start dealing damage but instead you can have someone playing the support role freezing all the little enemies uh, slowing down the badasses and at the same time uh, possibly give it, making it so they're all you know taking more damage or or potentially the increased damage taken will then switch over to the corrosive side uh, for those who are not aware back in borderlands one corros uh, corrosion was the element that made enemies take more damage when they were affected with corrosion because it, it weakened their armor and thus they took more damage so that also has potential. What do you guys think? Is do you think they're gonna re make Slag return as a as maybe a prototype, uh, or do you think it'll move to the Borderlands One Corrosion, or do you think it will be in the Frost element where maybe the enemies are more brittle and more uh, susceptible to damage? What do you guys think? You let me know. Or potentially may maybe they just remove it altogether. Maybe they just won't have a debuff and instead um, balance the health values correctly around not having sort of some sort of damage increase, which you know may potentially also be good. But I, I still think there should be some sort of debuffing ability on it, so long as it doesn't become like Borderlands 2 and the, its complete reliance on that ability. So, anyway. Now that that's out of the way, um, I noticed that also the damage over time is also going to be making sort of a return. Uh, since it, 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 although it kind of makes sense, considering this is built on the same engine, I would kind of expect the damage over time to also um, make a return. If you notice in the uh, pre-sequel gameplay, there is sort of that damage over time in the uh, in the bottom right of the gun card and it, it shows the you know the percent to put a status effect on the enemy as well as how much damage it may or may not do um, I don't think freeze has any sort of damage over time effect but um, yeah it looks like they're gonna be going with the same system they're not gonna be going back to the Borderlands 1 tech pool which since it's not on the same engine I can kind of understand however I think that the the tech pool was definitely um, it was definitely a lot better in that system but again it is made on the same engine so we can expect the same sort of 
uh, damage over time to sort of take it into effect. So I don't think we'll be seeing any sort of um, DOT stacking as well as, um, yeah, that sort of thing. Anyway, so that's pretty much the elements and damage over time. Now, let's go ahead and take a minute to talk about the, uh, the new loot system and how I think that's going to be working out. Now, if we notice in the Borderlands prequel uh, gameplay, there is a lot of returning manufacturers. You'll notice that Bandit is here, as well as Torg and TDR, and it's all using mostly the same gun parts as Borderlands 2. Now, personally, I don't think it's gonna be using carbon copy you know, the same exact thing as Borderlands 2. I think we're going to see a lot of new manufacturers, new gun parts, but I think it'll be using the same system. Now, as far as um, Bandit, I'm pretty sure that a lot of this is because it's still in alpha. Because um, that, that you see that little disclaimer, this is alpha gameplay. So a lot of things may be there or they're just sort of filling the gap. A good example of this is the demo for Borderlands 2 was using the Borderlands 1 loot system when it first, um, when, when the video first came out and then it switched to its Borderlands 2 uh, loot system. So there is the potential that it's just using the Borderlands 2 loot system as sort of a way to get some sort of gameplay of it. Then again, maybe I'm wrong and maybe it's just going to use the all, all of the Borderlands 2 in general. However, we can I, I can assure you, based on the uh, screenshots I've seen, we're, we're probably going to get all new legendaries. That's probably going to be a thing. We're going to get all new legendaries, all new special effects. I don't think they'll be recycling any of the legendaries outside of you know potentially bringing back um, certain things like, say, the Bitch or the Hellfire or the Mongol or the Crack Sash, etc. You know, those types of things coming back from Borderl weapons that have been through both games. Well, I'm sure we'll still see those type of weapons inside uh, this new game. But as far as the actual loot system goes, uh, without, without taking into account any other things, I think the system will still be exactly the same in that you'll have the you'll have the body of the manufacturer and then you'll have all the different parts that go on at the accessories, the the barrel, the grip, the stock, the sight, all that stuff. That'll probably still all be in the same style of Borderlands 2. But and I'm I'm pretty sure that the legendary will be still centered on the barrel. Uh, for those who are aware that all legendaries the barrel was the part that made the legendary i don't think we'll be making a return to the borderlands one version where the legendary part could be multiple things where you could have a legendary accessory or a legendary grip or a legendary sight those types of things i don't think that'll be making any type of return and it'll still be stuck to the barrel which i'm not um I don't have any issues with personally. I would like to see closer to the Borderlands 1 system, but I'm not going to have any issues if it's similar to Borderlands 2 where the legendary is in the actual barrel of it. So there is that. Anyway, I think that will pretty much cover everything I wanted to talk about in this uh, video. So let me know what you guys think. Do you think elements will be making any sort of change? Do you think dots will be making any sort of change? Um, how do you guys feel about the different manufacturers? Do you think uh, Bandit is just there as a placeholder or do you think it's going to actually be there? What about Atlas, SNS? Do you think they'll be making a return? Let me know in the comments section below. I'd love to hear your input on what you think about all these different um, mechanics ideas and those sorts of things but anyway guys i want to thank you for watching this video if you could and if you enjoyed it be sure to hit that like button supports me in what i do and i will see you guys in the next borderlands prequel video see you guys later